I'd say, as a goal in life, you could do worse than try to be kinder. In seventh grade, this new kid joined our class. In the interest of confidentiality, her name will be Ellen. Ellen was small, shy. She wore these blue cat's eye glasses that at the time, only old ladies wore. When nervous, which was pretty much always, she had a habit of taking a strand of hair into her mouth and chewing on it. So she came to our school and our neighborhood and was mostly ignored, occasionally teased. Your hair tastes good, that sort of thing. I could see this hurt her. I still remember the way she'd look after such an insult. Eyes cast down, a little gut kicked, as if having just been reminded of her place in things, she was trying as much as possible to disappear. After a while, she'd drift away, hair strands still in her mouth. Sometimes I'd see her hanging around alone in her front yard as if afraid to leave it. And then she moved. That was it. One day she was there, next day she wasn't. End of story. Now, why do I regret that? Why, 42 years later, am I still thinking about it? Relative to most of the other kids, I was actually pretty nice to her. I never said an unkind word to her. In fact, I sometimes even mildly defended her. But still, it bothers me. What I regret most in my life are failures of kindness. Those moments when another human being was there in front of me, suffering, and I responded sensibly, reservedly, mildly. Or to look at it from the other end of the telescope, who in your life do you remember most fondly with the most undeniable feelings of warmth? Those who were kindest to you, I bet. But kindness, it turns out, is hard. It starts out all rainbows and puppy dogs and expands to include, well, everything.